Yeah, that's right. Zoom in Games is doing top 10 videos now. So let's celebrate this mind blowing fact by looking at the biggest WTF moments in video games. The events in this video all made us scream in disbelief at our screens. Get ready for the top 10 biggest WTF moments in gaming. And spoiler warning, of course. Ow. Hmm? Raiden? Ow. I'm eating right now. Get back to me later. The new King Call of Duty Modern Warfare rendered us utterly speechless. After an intense firefight, you find yourself running for your life with one objective left. Get to the chopper. When you successfully make it, all seems to be A-OK -okay until the bomb detonates. Something has happened. As if that wasn't enough, the mission ends with your character surviving the blast for a few more minutes giving you a last chance to crawl on the ground and take in all the destruction. <laughs> Lollipop Chainsaw is an insane game featuring a ridiculous story, bizarre characters and over-the-top gameplay. It also has one of the most perverted achievements in gaming. If you take a good, long look at Juliet's underwear, you get an achievement called I Swear I Did It By Mistake. Everyone who got this achievement had the shocking realization that now everyone on their friends list knew exactly what kind of perv they were. We're not quite certain if the developers are celebrating or trying to shame gamers with this achievement, but it sure is funny. In Braid, we think that the hero Tim is trying to help the princess who is running from some monster. That all changes when you finally reach her at the end of the game, which is really the beginning of the game in chronological order. You discover that you are the monster she's running away from. The princess is also not a real princess, but actually a metaphor for the atomic bomb. Deep stuff. But what else would you expect from an intellectual game developer like Jonathan Blow? This isn't my fault. It takes a strong man to deny what's right in front of him. And if the truth is undeniable, you create your own. The ending of Spec Ops, The Line, is similar to Braid in the sense that you're actually a bad guy pretending to be a hero. The familiar third-person shooter gameplay tricks you into a false sense of security. You think this is just another one of those Call of Duty-like games before the plot does a 180 and judges you for being complicit in atrocious war crimes. This is your fault, goddammit! Stop right there, Lugo! He wouldn't listen! We didn't have a choice! He turned us into fucking killers! It's an amazing ending and one of the few games that dares to talk about the horrific side of war. We are here to help. But first, I need you to lay down your weapon. He's not complying. He's shell-shocked. Give him a second. Careful. Just hand ah! on the fire. Everyone, hey, move up! Stop. Would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Let's face it, if you've ever played Bioshock, you knew that this was coming. The would you kindly scene from the original Bioshock is hands down one of the most shocking plot twists we've ever encountered in any game, let alone a first person shooter. Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Realizing that none of your actions were your choice, but rather a direct hypnotic order really messes with your head. It's also great commentary on the medium itself and how developers only give us the illusion of choice while playing games. 
Knights of the Old Republic is not only one of the best Star Wars games ever made, it also completely blew our young minds back in the day. Near the end it was revealed that before you lost your memory you were Darth Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord and know that I have taken your place. We really didn't see this one coming, despite being told about Revan's villainous crimes throughout the story. This is definitely the gaming equivalent of Luke. I am your father. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Ah! The Metal Gear Solid series is full of shocking moments. There's the time Kojima deceived everyone about the main character. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The famous Psycho Mantis battle. Now let me read your mind. So, you like Suikoden. And who could forget when Snake killed himself, but not really, in Metal Gear Solid 4. However, our favorite WTF moment has to be Colonel Campbell going crazy in Metal Gear Solid 2. Raiden, turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry, it's a game. It's a game just like usual. Finding out that Campbell was not real, but just a part of Metal Gear Arsenal's artificial intelligence made the whole thing that much scarier. I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. Since Inside is a pretty new game, we'll give you a chance to skip ahead because we're going to spoil the ending. You're still here? Good, because if there's one thing Inside is going to be remembered for, it's the completely insane conclusion. After playing the entire game as a young boy, you are suddenly absorbed by a fleshy blob. For the game's final 20 minutes, you're in control of a horrifying biological experiment gone wrong. It's amazing. Even if it's a little hard to figure out what any of it means, we absolutely love this bold move by developer Playdead. If you ever cried while playing games, chances are high that it happened at this exact moment. Aerith's death in Final Fantasy VII hit a lot of gamers like a freight train. What made it so emotional was the fact that you had gotten to know her over many hours of gameplay. You had invested all that time and energy into her, only for her to be suddenly taken away. There's no moment in gaming's short history that has endured as strongly as this. Do you want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> that actually is pretty funny.
last loose end. <laughs> It is done. The way lies all before you. Only she remains to be found. Omae no shiwaza datono ka? The death of John Marston is our biggest WTF moment in gaming. We love how Rockstar wasn't afraid to kill off the main character you've been playing as the whole game. They also set it up really well by letting you return to your family and live a peaceful life for a couple of missions. So, is this your boy? Yeah! Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack! Hello! It's grim when disaster strikes and it really makes you hate Edgar Ross. Years later, you're able to doll out some good old-fashioned revenge as John's son in one epic last showdown. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. What is your favorite WTF moment in gaming? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Stop talking. Means the smoke is toxic. Yeah. Let's just keep moving.